Hi ladies, this is Deb with the Crafty Texas Woman and I'm here to share a tutorial with you um, brought to you by CCL Creating the Crafty Life. As y'all know, um, we um, pick themes every month and this month for June we're doing um, picture frames. So I just wanted to share a little tutorial um, on some, a picture frame that I am going to do for you and I'm going to use these Michael frames here. I am so stuck on these little frames. Um, this is a little oval frame and they're in your, um, um, sometimes they're in the dollar bins or dollar fifty bins and stuff like, at Michael's and so this is a, um, a four by six and it does not come with um, a glass on the front um, but you can use, um, oh what am I trying to say? Um, not bell no um well, anyway y'all could use something you know if you wanted to cover you know the picture that you put in there uh, and i'll probably think of it and blurt it out sometime during this video and then so these are the other um frames that i'm going to use i told the girls i was going to do a frame on frame video and they just kind of laughed at me so these are the frames that i'm going to use and these you can get at michael's as well so because i only have a limited amount of time I went ahead and did some prep work on here. So these are my frames. This is a yellow frame that I'm doing. And then this is the um, other frame that I um, I painted as well. And this was from the um, Pale Daffodil paint, or yellow um, paint, acrylic paint. And this one is a spring green from um, Apple Barrel. And these colors are just, you know, they're, they're brighter than what I would normally use. So, um, but I wanted something kind of summery and so this kind of reminds me of summer. However, I am going to tone it down a little bit. And I have a list of things right here that I plan on using. So, without further, let's go ahead and get started. Because y'all don't want to hear me ramble for the next 25 minutes. You want to see me do something. Um... What I did was I went ahead and painted all of this, and then, um, like I said, because it is, you know, brighter than I normally would use, um, I'm going to tone it down a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to spray a little bit of um, Lindy's, and it is the uh, Aloha Avocado, and I'm just going to spray some on here just to kind of tone it down a little bit. And then I'm um, from there. And then I always kind of like to pat it on there too as well. So it's, um, you know, just like that. And um, y'all can see what I'm doing. I do sometimes get kind of quiet when I start crafting. So um, if I do, I'll just say, hey, start talking to us. And then I probably will. <laughs> if I hear you right and so what I did on this one I wouldn't let me spray this I mean on um, dry it real quick it pretty dries pretty quick because you pat it down so that kind of just tones it down a little bit and you can see a little bit of green in the um, background as well and then on this top frame what I did was I added some um, yellow the um, daffodil the light daffodil and kind of dry brushed it along the sides and and different different places that i wanted but i'm going to add a little bit more and then i'm going to spray this again so what i do when i dry brush is i put a little bit of paint on my brush and then i'll get a towel and then i'll just kind of pretty much take it all off as well too and i'm sure that you all have done this before so let me just you know pick it up and add a few other places that I want it right in here and you can see where it's coming you know it's not blotty it's just you know kind of like little strokes of paint and let me get a little bit more and I like to just kind of like do the up the top And there's no ream or, you know, rhyme or reason why I, um, you know, which area I pick. I just, I just put it on there. Okay. 
just like that and I think that's going to be good and I the reason why I do this too is you know so it looks like it's all incorporated together and it's just going to lay on there like that so let me get this paintbrush out of the way and then so what I'm going to do too is I'm going to spray this just a little bit more I want it a little bit darker We just kind of blot it. Kind of tones it down some. Like I say, I'm not a real bright, bright color person, so I just want to tone it down. And then so what I'm going to do with this one, I am going to go ahead and just hot, I'm going to spray this too. But I'm going to spray this one with um, Lindy's, which is Don't Eat the Golden Snow. Yes. So, and, you know, just kind of lighten it up a little bit. Darken one, lighten the other. Okay. But it's a different kind of um, lightning or light, so... And then let me dry this off. Make sure that I am still in frame, and I am. There's so many different things that you can do with these frames and, you know, alter, altering them. <clears throat> I've done several of them, and, so, and I just love doing the altered frames. This isn't going to take long at all because I did do a lot of the prep work already. The longest part is getting, you know, drying and whatnot. And this is, this is the work here. Okay. Then, so what I, I can do now is just go ahead and put this on there. Y'all can see it. And I'm just going to hot glue this on here. And I got my hot glue gun. And I'm just going to go right along the edges back here. And a couple of other spots. And you don't have to worry about um, like glue strings because when you um, dry it with your heat gun it does get rid of your um, glue strings so that's a good little trick to remember as well let me make sure I have this on here straight right where I want it and then let me press it down okay there it is can you see that of course you can and then now what I'm going to do is um, I am just going to start decorating this. Okay. And I have um, several Envy Treasuristas things that I'm going to use on here. Um, let's see. Let's get started. I need a pair of pliers and whatnot. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to just kind of trim some of this stuff off and then um, use this. I like this kind of ties everything together. Let's see if I need it this tall though. I'm just going to put it right there. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue and just various places to hold it. Okay. I always kind of have to figure out where I want to do I want it to go this way? Do I want it to go this way? This way. 
So let me stick some glue here, get it in its spot right there. And let me put a little piece of glue right here. There we go. Now, what I have is a whole bunch of like flowers and whatnot to put on here. And then I also have some little um, flatback pearls I want to put on here. So um, I've got, let me move this stuff out of the way here. I've got some gardenias right here. And I'm going to keep some white. And then I have some um, other green flowers that I want to put on here from Recollection. I just got to put everything right out in front of me so I can see what I want to do. I just want these little ones. If I can get them out of the package. There we go. And then I have some um, I Am Roses in here too, which is the yellow ones. And then I have some littler one as well. And then I also have some um, of these cherry blossoms, which I love these mulberry cherry blossoms and got some in there. And then I also might, I have some wheat sprays that I'm gonna put on here from MV Treasurista. Not quite sure where I'm gonna do it yet, but I've got some there. And possibly I'm going to use some of the um, gem pearl, the gem, candy gems. And I might use the yellow in here. Oh, that'd be real pretty too. Let me get, I think I am gonna use the yellow. It's kind of undecided on if I wanted the yellow or the green, but I think I will go with the yellow. And unwind some of this. I think I might use two of them. Get these un wind. Here we go. So I've got those. And then let's see what else do I have over here. I have some butterflies. I'll use a, um, let's see if I want to use the yellow butterfly or if I want to use the green butterfly. I'll have to decide that. And then I also have some of these um, paper carnations that Misty carries in her store. And I have some yellow ones right here. And then I also have some of these peach colored ones that I might use on there as well. Well, this can be really, really pretty. So let's go ahead and, oh, I have this acrylic butterfly too that I think I want to use. So let me go ahead and trim it off. Oh, it's not yellow, it must be apple green, sorry. So I have that one as well add a little bit of variety in here okay so this is done so let's go ahead and just kind of start layering uh, where I want to put some of my flowers because I know I want to cover up some of the you know where I'm putting things down at let's see which if I want to use that one I think I'm gonna go with that one and then um, I may go I don't think I'm, I want to keep some of the white, so I'm going to go along like this. And then throw some yellow in there. I might put that right along there. Just kind of tack things down and then, um, or just kind of lay things out and then I put it all together. Let's see if I want to put this gem pearl, or the candy, the gem candies right here. That would be pretty. And then um, I might do the wheat sprays going along this side. Let me untangle this one. Get these untangled. Okay. So let me go ahead and just trim it. Oops. There we go. just kind of twist it back around there and I might go somewhere like here with this I 
let's see when they add some I might add some carnations to it I'm going to add the carnations throughout the top and then I'm going to put this um, down here as well okay I know what I'm doing now kind of have an idea <clears throat> So anyway, I hope that y'all will try, um, you know, doing the frames on top of the frames because everybody was laughing at me, my girls. So, but I wanted to show them that it can be done. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put down my wheat spray right here. It's going to go right there. Get this out of the way. Glue strings. I wish I could come up with an invention on how to get rid of glue strings. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this pearl gem, this candy gem. It's a candy gem spray. I don't know why I have a hard time saying that. I'm just going to put it right there. I, can't, I always like to curl up these bottoms here so it gives me more... Um, um, room to or gives me stability where I can um, have something to glue to so I have this I'm just going to stick it right right about there and I have my glue gun right here right there okay. now I think I'll go ahead and put this flower right there Start layering. Like that. And let's see, I want to go with one of these. I'm not going to, I want to keep the white on the gardenias. And I may spray everything again when I, once I get everything on there. So I'm just going to trim the back off a little bit. And I'm going to curl this under and I'm going to go right here with that. Right there. Then I get to then I'll turn it around and show y'all how it's all coming out. And then I'll do this yellow little rose right here. See, I'll stick this one right through there. I decided that I wasn't going to put any type of um, lace on here. I wanted to keep it more like just this. So... And then let me put some of these little um, carnations on here. I'm going to snip them off a little bit and just add them in here. Let me put a little bit more. And I'm just going to add them in various little spots in the frame. Okay, here they are. If you haven't worked with these little Michaels frames, oh gosh, I don't know what made me take so long to find these or to do them because these little frames are so much fun to play with. There. And let's see, do I want to put another, I want to, do I want another gardenia over here? Yes, I do. I love these little Michaels frames. Let me open her up a little bit. Is my, I'm going to put some of the um, 
little um, blossoms on here. Oh, come off, you little. Okay, and then just turn, curl this under. Okay, I'll stick this right about there. Okay, and then I'm going to put another little rose under here. This time I'm going to um, curl it, the stem right here. And then I'll bring it up a little bit. Oh, let me show you. What you do is I just take a little um, wooden piece or something, or you could use your um, paintbrush, and then wrap the um, bottom of the, um, the stem and you just wrap it around your brush or something and then you can shows where you can get a like a little stem there coming up let me stick that right there so you can see how this is coming so far let me make sure i oh i only have like three minutes left of this we may have to go to a part two um let me see i may i may have to hurry this up and then take pictures of the final piece let me put this right there i think i'll use this right here Put that right in there. Okay, you can see that little butterfly right there. Cool. I like how this is turning out. Okay, and then let me put another green flower right along here. I'm going to stick it right in there. This looks so summery, that, so pretty. And then I'm gonna stick some little pearls. No, I'm not gonna put pearls on there yet because I think I'm gonna have to do a second part to this. Let me stick another, some yellow right over here. And then pull this up. I'm not going to pull these up. Put you right in here. See, I have one minute left on this, and then I may have to go to another one. And then let's let's see what else do we want to add. Let's add some color in here. I'm going to use three of these, four of these, and then let me just kind of wrap them together. And I just twist them together when I want a bunch of them. So, and then I'll kind of layer them like that, and then let me roll. stick these right in here okay let me get some glue in there Ooh, this is turning out really really cute can y'all see right there these flowers right here okay and let's
let's see what else can we do before I have to turn this on. I think I'm going to have to come back to part two. So I'll be right back. Thank you.